All right, hey, what's happening, my friends? Today, we're talking about the 10 things you need to get before they're gone. In recent memory, the last few years, we've run into supply chain issues and people just being scared as we've had all of our institutions of power manufacturing crises in front of us. Experts say store shelves may not improve until the pandemic recedes. People react and all of a sudden, toilet paper's just gone. Furthermore, because of inflation just going crazy right now, some items are far more than 15% up or 20% up, they're up. 500% in the case of lithium or 40% in the case of used cars. So because of inflation, you can buy more today than you will be as crisis gets closer and closer. So I don't want to be caught on my heels. I want to be able to make sure I can predict what's coming. As we know, supply chain issues are in effect now and they are going to get worse in the future. If you're prepared, you don't have to freak out because you plan for this. Now, before we jump into our 10 items, uh, thank you, video sponsor, Sportsman's Guide. You're awesome. I've got ammo cans from you guys, guns, ammo, some mountain house storage food. Make sure you shop Sportsman's Guide. Use code WARPOET at checkout, and it'll save you some cash. All right, first thing, no surprise. All of you guys saw this coming. Won't shock anyone. Guns and ammo. Ammunition has been in short supply over the last couple of years. Prices have continued to climb. I predict that's going to get much, much worse. It may not be a case of how much ammo is. It may be a case of you just can't get it at all. So make sure you have a nice, healthy stockpile. What is healthy? Uh, it's good enough to last your lifetime and that of all the generations you can imagine after you. That's a good stockpile, in my opinion. So I'm on a journey. And one day, once I have all the ammunition, then I will be ready. But until that day, guns and ammo are a good thing to get while you still can. Now, let's say you got a little ammo and just a few guns. I'd advise you buy a whole ton of ammo and a few guns will get you get you by. Even if you had one gun, I'd love tons of ammo for that one gun. So that would be the better way to go at it, in my opinion. And my opinion is science. It is fact. <laughs> science has a standard. All right, the second thing is food. You need to be able to prep food. We've had in recent memory the last few years where grocery stores just emptied. Their shelves had no more canned food, so make sure you get that. And I'd also like some freezer items. I wanna put a bunch of hot dogs and hamburgers and stuff in my freezer. Now, a lot of you guys would be thinking about long-term rice and beans and stuff, and that's really more for long-term preparation. This is more about all of a sudden the grocery store shelves empty, and it's not about all the rice and beans and dehydrated foods and stuff that I have in my stock room. It's more about what is all of a sudden gonna disappear in the grocery store and you wish you'd had that one last run to get. If you got a little bit of storage food and a little bit of guns and ammo, I'd probably encourage you to beef up food storage before I do guns and ammo and then I do ammo before guns. So I'm just trying to give you a tier. I'd want your families to have at least a few months on hand. Remember, if you can't feed your family, you're very easy to manipulate scare and control. And what we want is freedom. We're freedom fighter people. That's warrior pod ethos. Yay for us. Third thing you need to stock up on is your non-perishables. That's stuff like toilet paper, diapers, toothpaste, soap, aluminum foil, paper towels, though I'd rather you shift to like rags that you can wash and dry, whereas paper towels are kind of out if you're going to experience longer term supply chain issues. So anyway, your non-perishable items, you definitely want to get that. A uh, fourth one is batteries in all the different sizes that you use batteries in. So 2032s, double A, triple A, C, I mean, D cell. What did people use D cell for? You, you don't use D cell unless you just put them in a sock and you swing it around like a mace. Why don't more people do that? Number five, fuel. This is gasoline, diesel, if you have diesel engines. Uh, some of those camping, Coleman, uh, smaller things for just uh, cooking propane tanks. I just sunk a 500 gallon propane tank right outside the back of my house. Uh, also wood uh, for burning. Make sure you have a whole bunch of that stuff, but I want a lot of different fuel sources stockpile on that. It's tricky storing fuel for any length of time. I've got a certain amount of gasoline and diesel on hand and I kind of cycle that out because it's only gonna last something like six months, a year really pushing it if you have some additives. Diesel lasts a little bit longer than uh, normal fuel. However, fuel is tricky, but it's if you buy fuel today, you'll get more for your money than you will 
tomorrow or closer to some kind of crisis. Number six is alternate transportation. In the last year, the used bike market, uh, it just went through the roof. You could sell a used bike for a good chunk if you could even find them. So in a time where gasoline is really hard to get and very expensive, that could be a hedge against fossil fuels. I just got horses recently, and so I really like horses. There's my hedge, and then my wife and kids have bicycles. I think I probably need a bike. I'm not wearing bike shorts. Yes, I would be faster with the aerodynamic nature of wearing spandex everywhere, but I've still got some dignity. Number seven is basic tools. Screws and nails could be a really good idea. You also wanna make sure you apartment dwellers specifically hammers and saws, axes, crowbars, wrenches, that kind of stuff. Make sure you got a decent toolkit. Number eight, medications. Acetaminophen, I can't really say that word, so I just say it fast. Uh, ibuprofen, Excedrin, antidiarrheal stuff, Benadryl. If you have any prescription medications, you'll definitely want to beef up on that. Extra credit if you're able to score some antibiotics and store those. Yay for that. And vitamins, which don't, doesn't really belong in the medications category, but I know where else to put it, so I'm gonna say vitamins. Number nine is condiments and core ingredients. So flour, sugar, salt, ketchup, mustard. You have a bunch of meat and you don't have any way to make it nice, you will die. The meat is boring without it. What's your favorite condiment? When you asked me that, it just seemed really <laughs> fruity. I'm not answering that question. Spicy mustard is, is the best condiment. Another, you're welcome. Number 10 is happy drinks, so you don't die of low morale. This is alcohol and this is coffee. Alcohol has all kinds of different uses, especially if stuff goes sideways. That's a barter item. That's something that you can use for disinfecting. It's something that you can use to uh, put in water to sterilize something. Or like you've all seen it in movies, like you get an arrow and you got that scene and he's coming up with a brand and you gotta you know do that and then you swig it and then you're like, come on and come in and then do the thing. And so you'll need alcohol for that arrow and your buddies are going to rip it out scenario. So there you have it. There's the 10 things you need to get before they're gone. I did a good bit of research, but I'd love to hear what some of your thoughts are. What did I miss? Sound off in the comments of what are some other things that you should get before they're gone and try to stay away from the long-term prepper or the bushcraft vein. That's not the video we're doing, though I really advocate those two categories. And I've got content coming out like that in the future. I also want to give a plug for my Patriot Supply. They're not like a channel sponsor, but I do have an affiliate relationship with them. So if you check down below, you'll have a link that takes you to their site and you'll have my landing page, which saves you some money and you're able to get some stuff. I've ordered from them, I think three pretty decent orders in the last calendar year. And uh, I'm stockpiling, I'm stockpiling. I'm buying more today than I will be able to tomorrow. And so I think that's an extremely good prep. Make sure you check down below for that link. Sportsman's Guide, thanks so much for sponsoring this video. All of you guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel, toggle notifications about all. We have all kinds of good content coming on. If you can't tell, our quality has gone up and we're putting out more and more videos because that's how we roll. Make sure you subscribe and share. Love you guys. Train hard, train smart, stay free. Awesome.